Greetings, my fellow freedom loves and sovereign thinkers. This is LL3's newest podcast. My name is Craig, and I am presiding along the beautiful swampy mangroves of South Florida. It looks a nice sunny day, a little bit warm, but I can say, deal with it, enjoy it while I can. Well, today I'm going to be uh, discussing a couple topics, you know, do a good amount of time. And um, the first one's going to be. First one's going to be an article that was written by Nut and Fancy, and it was by via LockAndLoadRadio.com. Thank you, Bill Freddy, for passing it on. It's entitled, Take Down the Sign or Go to Jail. We do not approve guns or you. National City, California, threatened gun shop over sign. And from Economy in Crisis... We are destroying ourselves with the wars we fight. And um, that is pretty interesting articles on here. I will do my narration plus my intake. Okay, my friends, let's do it. Take down the sign or go to jail. We do not approve guns or, or you. National City threatens gun shops over sign. Posted by BearingArms.com, staff on February 23rd, 2014 at 5.32 p.m. Ours Armor is getting hammered by the local government over this billboard. Nothing fancy writes, take down the sign or go to jail. We do not approve of guns or you. This is an unmistakable message sent by progressives when they are taking over a city and freedom pays the price. Ars Armor is a small tactical store operating one of their stores in National City, California, a suburb of San Diego. Never mind that CEO Dimitri and his staff at Ars Armor are in complete compliance with all laws and ordinances. This does not matter. That's because guns are the heart of this debate. The city council has taken offense to their presence there and is pulling all of the stops, perverting the legal system to, to destroy them. But our armor stands unbowed and has paid $10,000 just in the appeals process to get justice, Dimitri, a combat USMC infantry vet from both Iraq and Afghanistan, stands in complete defiance of this attack on both First and Second Amendment rights. And yet, he faces an uphill and an expensive battle with slim odds. Note the so-called appeal process he discusses. As you will see in the video, the city has made up their mind, made up their mind, and anything related to guns is unwelcome in this California dystopia. We discussed the case. We discussed this case, studied to communist progressive mind, and consider how hypocrisy and injustice are welcome dealing with both First and Second Amendment right. This eve event is in a small corner of California is symbolic of some of the some big issues and so, and shows that will happen in your town too. As promised, TNP rolls in hot to help out Second Amendment in California. Please contact the council people below to wake them up to their unconstitutional actions and perhaps to save this American small business that serves law abiding citizens, military and cust LE customers I have seen the video and it's very um gentlemen did a damn good job and they talk about the store talk about the, what they have in the store plus the legal battles they have with the city and I have to say, the city is um, of National City. I did wrote a correspondence to them on it that you're breaching their oath of office. And are they are they are they um, are they proud? Do they idolize Santa Ana Cruz, Mao Tse Tung, or both? Adolf Hitler. That's like you know everyone's here too many times. So I'm just waiting for the reply if they have the courage to do so. However, the video is vi is really good. Talks about you know the legal battles and what they have in the store. In addition, 
under the 1968 Gun Control Act, it is legal to manufacture your own firearms without being registered. See, that's something I didn't even know about. I learned something as well. And we could, what we could say, too, what the councils, city council of National City, are actually violated, on my view, according to their own state constitution. And we want to, I will just go along here. Article 1, Declaration of Rights. Article 1 reads, All people are by nature free and independent and have un inalienable rights. Among these are enjoying and defending life and liberty, acquiring, possessing, and protecting property, and pursuing and obtaining safety, happiness, and privacy. And we can go to Section 2A, which it says, Every person may freely speak, write, and publish his or her sentiments on all subjects. Being responsible for the abuse of this right, the law may not restrain or abridge liberty of free speech or press. The big billboard sign talks about, you know, has the unregistered, it has, um, let me see here. I have to go, have to go back. It says, Ars Armor, unserialized, no registration. Well, these people are offended because he has a firearm, like a, you know, M16 up there. And what's so hilarious, and they're, and they're harassing them for it on their free speech. And they say they're, they're doing laws, they're, which is all like color law or makeup garbage or pathetic rhetoric, wherever, wherever you want to um, categorize them. That's what they're offended by. And the fact is, they, according to the video, this sign was up there since 1950. So you can say it was like a good 64 years. And now they want to change the tune because it offends them. Well, I could really give two craps on what they think. And we'll just go a little bit further to Section 7A. And, it's, and it says here, a person may not be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law or denied equal protections of law. They're being biased. There's no, they, they, they're not, they're being denied equal protections of the law. So they're being, they're, the whole thing is the National City Council are being bigoted. All right, so then we just hit Section section 18, which is a good question, in my view. Treason against the state consists only in levying war against it, adhering to its enemies, or giving them aid or and comfort. A person may not be convicted of treason except on the evidence of two witnesses to the same overaction or by confession in open court. Interesting about this. Who are they aiding or comforting? Remember, enemies could be domestic as well in the state of California. So, as far as I'm concerned, they can be exercising treason. And I hope they hear this because I could care less what they think of me. And we could hit section 24. Rights guaranteed by this Constitution are not dependent on those guaranteed by the U.S. Constitution. And Case of criminal in criminal cases, rights of the defendant to equal protection of law, to due process, in the assistance of counsel, to be personally presented with counsel in a speedy trial, to compel the attendance of witnesses, to confront witnesses against him or herself, to be free from unreasonable search and seizures, to privacy, not to be compelled, to be a witness against himself or herself, not to be placed twice in jeopardy for the same offense and not to suffer the imposition or cruel of unusual punishment shall be contrived by the courts in the state in this manner consists with the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution shall not be contrived by the courts to afford greater rights to criminal defendants by those afforded by the Constitution of the United States, nor shall the contrived afford greater rights to minors and juveniles or criminal cases those afforded 
by the Constitution. Declaration of Rights may not be construed to impair or deny others retained by the people. That's the last, that's the last paragraph. Okay? Third paragraph. So right there was it equal to the Ninth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. So to be all honesty, they are violating those sections under their own state constitution and, of course, the bill, our bill, U.S. Bill of Rights. So you know what i got to say about that to you, National City? Government, keep out. You are trespassing on anti-free market. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. And i got one more thing. i can back this up. What they're doing is totally illegal. Is we can go look at Article 20, Required Oath of Office, Section 3. Members of the legislators and all public officers, employees, executive, legislative, and judicial, except such inferior officers and employees, may be law exempt, shall, before they enter upon the duties of their respective offices, and take, take and subscribe the following oath or affirmation. I, that would be your name, do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will hear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California. I, that I, take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties up, upon which I am about to enter. And it says, next paragraph, And I do further swear or affirm that I do not advocate, nor am I a member of any party or organization, political or other, wise, that now advocates to overthrow the government of the United States or of the state of California by force or violence or other unlawful means. Within the five years immediately preceding the taking of the, this oath or affirmation, I have not been a member of any party or organization, political or otherwise, that advocates the overthrow of the government of the United States or the state of California by force or violence or other unlawful means except as follows. And it says here, uh, go, it goes a little further, if no affirmation were the words, no exceptions, that during such time as I hold office, the person put their name in, I will not advocate nor become name of office, a member of any party or organization, political or otherwise, that advocates the overthrow of the United government of the United States or the state of California by force or other unlawful means. And go further here. And no other oath, declaration, or test shall be required as a qualification for any public office or employment. Uh-huh. Public officer and employee includes every officer and employee of the state including the University of California, every county, city, city and county district and authority, including any department, division, bureau, board, commission, agency, or instrumentally of anything foregoing. So, I have a question for those servants and appointees within National City. Are you honoring your oath of office? Well, based on this report I received... You guys have preached it. I'm not being slanderous or libelous. But you have violated your oath. And as far as I'm concerned, your positions are null and void. And anyone in California, please send them this. I don't care what they think of me. All right? And so, um, well, I've got to do one more thing little quote here from Thomas Jefferson before we proceed. You know what? I'll do that next. Right after. Right. Oh, wait. Let's do it right now. First one. Perversion of government. While a certain form of government are better calculated than others to protect individuals in the free exercise of their natural rights, and are at the same time themselves better guarded against degeneracy. Yet experience hath shown 
that even under the best forms of those entrusted with power have in time and by slow operations perverted into tyranny. Ha <laughs> ha.